is my husband Joshua. How's it going? And he is in my video today because I am going to show you how to cut your man's hair. Hi, we're matching for this video. Both wearing white. That looks really stupid. It just happened we're to be this way. We're in the same exact outfit. So, um, really quick, we're just going to show you everything that you're going to need. We've already gone ahead and done Joshua's haircut, which you will be seeing that in a couple minutes. Um, but I just want to show you everything that we used in the video, and then, um, yeah, we can jump right into it. Okay, so the first thing that you are going to need, I always wear closed toed shoes whenever I'm cutting hair, just because in case the clippers or the scissors fall on the floor, that way you don't stab your foot. And Joshua has a ton of hair, so it literally gets everywhere. So yeah, I like to wear closed-toed sho shoes for that reason. And he probably should have worn closed-toed shoes because <laughs> his socks. Where are your socks? These are Joshua's socks after we cut his hair. Just completely covered in hair. <laughs> so yeah, um, have your mate wear uh, some shoes too. Okay, so for the haircut, no, it's all dirty. <laughs> um, you're going to need a pair of clippers. Uh, my clippers are obviously a professional grade. But um, these are Wall, W-A-H-L clippers. These are cordless ones and they're really awesome. But they're pretty expensive and um, you do have to be a professional to purchase them. Well, at least these ones I know. I don't know if you can get them at Sally's, but you can get really nice clippers at Sally's as well. I've purchased a really cheap pair of clippers from even TJ Maxx before, um, just to have as like a backup for like 20 bucks, and it still has everything you need in it. The only thing that's really, really nice about getting expensive clippers is that when you're going through the hair, it will literally get every little hair so you don't have to go over and over and over again. So yeah, these ones are really, really nice. I like them, especially that they are cordless as well. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you will also need a cape. Um, I wore a cape too, just like a little apron cape. Um, Joshua wore a cape just to protect all of his clothes and stuff, or you can just use a towel or something too. All the clipper guards for the clippers. Usually they come with like a one, two, three, four. They usually skip five for some reason. Not every set is like that, but most are. They probably won't be able to see because I don't know if it'll be in focus. Um, we used a two on Joshua today, which is a quarter of an inch. And normally when you get your little guards, it says right on it like... A four is a half inch or 13 millimeter. Yeah, so it tells you... Oh, whoops. So yeah, it tells you right on it what it is. We did a two on Joshua's sides today. And the top we used scissors. Speaking of scissors, <laughs> you will need a pair. These are Joel ones. I really liked them. The whole reason why I got them is because they're black. But these are professional scissors um, that I got when I was working in the salon. These are really, really nice scissors. But you can also get scissors from Sally's. Um, and then we also used these kind of scissors today as well. These ones are the ones that are for thinning the hair out a little bit. So, um, the comparison between yeah, the, the two. Yeah, here's the comparison. These ones have those little teeth on it, and those are just regular scissors. You don't have to have something like this, but if the person's hair that you're cutting has really thick hair, then that's pretty necessary. You'll need a comb. This wasn't in the video, but I like this on the back of my neck. This is a feather razor. Yeah, I usually just go like this to Joshua's neck with that. Gets it real nice and close. It does. Or you can just even use a regular disposable razor too. Yep. And that'll get it. Oh yeah, and for your clip, if you do get a new um, thing of clippers, I really like getting this wall clipper oil. This is just really nice to keep everything sharp and keep it running smooth. But yeah, we got a lot of fun filming <laughs> this video together partners. Yep. Subscribe if you want to see more. Yeah. So if you Weird. want to see more of Joshua, let us know. Put a comment in the comment section. All right. And it wasn't planned for us to be matching. No, we did not do this on purpose. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and keep watching. <laughs> so corny. All right. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is figure out a length to do. This is just pretty much a basic men's haircut. So Joshua likes to go pretty short on the sides and then 
blended up to the top and um, he's not hating his length on the top so we're just gonna lightly trim over the top we're not gonna take too much off the top and what we're gonna do is we're gonna work from the bottom to the top so we're gonna start with his sides first and Joshua usually does a two on the sides so we're gonna do the two and then once his head starts rounding right about here that's kind of your line where you know you need to stop. So you don't want to cut anything past the rounding of his head. So if you're start having to move your clippers up or anything, you just want to stop cutting completely. growing um, instead of growing growing straight down it's growing kind of off to the side um, you're gonna want to make sure that you just feel comfortable with the clippers and that you are cutting the hair the opposite direction of um, the way the hair is growing so if it's growing to the side you're gonna want to cut it this way and that's what we did okay so after you cut the sides with whatever number you choose we chose the two um, this is what the sides should look like. You want to make sure you try and get it just as even as possible on both sides. You want to make sure that you don't only cut up to here on one side and all the way up here on the other side. So try to keep that pretty even. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to want to do before you move on to the top is you're going to want to trim the sideburns and the neck and get a really nice neckline so you want to ask them if they want it really square or if they want it just really natural looking or some guys like it rounded Joshua just kind of likes his to look a little more natural so if you don't have a set of trimmers then you can go ahead and just take the guard off of your clippers and bring it all the way down and use that or if you do have a set of trimmers then you'd want to use those next alright so I like to do Joshua's sideburns about what's this thing called right here? Okay, well that little round thing, I usually just like to measure where that is, like the top of that, and then trim right there. That way they'll be even on both sides. clean line back there now you just want to make sure you don't go up too high with that and um, you don't have to do this but a nice little trick is to take your comb and take the wider part of the comb and set it against the hair and then you can just get a little bit of everything just a little bit tighter and shorter and it'll blend a lot nicer up to the top the sideburns as well just take the wider part of the comb and just blend up mm -hmm. 
And then you're going to want to make sure that you trim around the ears. And don't be afraid to move their ear because if not, you could cut them. And then most guys have a little bit of peach fuzz on their ears, so you just get that off. Okay, so now that we have everything nice and tightly trimmed on the sides and in the back, and we've done all around the side and everything, we're going to move to the top. Okay, so as you can tell, um, if your guy did want to keep the top a lot longer, really all we would have to do is just kind of trim this area right here where it's kind of sticking out. Um, and then he would be good to go. But Joshua doesn't want to do that. He wants it all cut. So since we used a two on the sides, um, I'm going to use like a two and a half or a three. We're just going to kind of see what happens. I'm going to start with a three here on the sides and just start blending this up a little bit. So I'm going to start with a three. Sometimes you need to go down a little bit shorter though. done the three kind of in this crown area right through here Joshua really could be good to go right now this wouldn't look that bad and he could just wear his hair like this so that's always an option if your guy wants to keep his hair a little bit longer on the top okay so since we are cutting the top of Joshua's hair today um, for the top what you can do is you can just use a really long guard um, typically the longest guard would be an eight and that's one inch long but Joshua is going to want his hair to be a tiny bit longer than that so we're just going to go through and use the scissors so what we're going to do since we've already done all the sides in this crown area the next thing that you're going to do is you're just going to start with a side and then you're going to do the other side and you're going to blend through the middle at the very end okay so how you're going to start this is you're going to start with a side we're going to start with this side over here and you're going to kind of want to angle your fingers a little bit. So you're going to grab a little bit of what you've already cut over here and then everything that you haven't cut right here. And you're just going to cut this hair that you haven't touched to the hair that you already have cut. So right down here is what I have cut. <laughs> this all I haven't cut. So I'm just matching that up. Okay, so now that we've done that, we haven't touched anything in the middle yet, so we're just going to lightly trim that. So you can tell what you're going to cut in the middle because you've already cut these sides. So this right here is what I've already cut, and this obviously I haven't touched, but you kind of want to keep it a little bit longer on the very, very top. So you can either just kind of like point cut into that a little bit, just like that, and that does make everything blend a lot nicer if you cut like that. Or you can go ahead and just trim straight across too. Here in this household, we're fans of the point cut. <laughs> Today we are. The very front.
Okay, so if you guys can see this, Joshua has some ridges here. And if you notice that while you're cutting the hair, I can show you how to get rid of that. So instead of cutting the hair across, <laughs> across the head, how we have been doing, you're just going to take the hair and cut it vertically across. That's just some hairs that didn't get cut or maybe it's not even with, with the rest of everything else. So if you cut it vertically instead of horizontally, just how we did, then that'll help you not miss any of the hairs that we didn't get. And maybe that didn't make sense to any of you. Um, I was thinking that this way would be horizontally, but Joshua was saying that this way would be horizontally. Anyways, we just cut the hair this way across. So if you have any of those ridges, just go ahead and cut all the hair Front this to way. Front to back. Good. Okay, so when I lift up some of the hair, you guys can see that not all of this is perfectly even and that's where we're getting those ridges so you're just going to want to cut that off cut those little bumpy things off I guess and make it more straight and that will get rid of all of those ridges So something that I kind of like to do, and Joshua really likes that I do, his hair is very coarse and thick, so if you have a pair of thinning shears like these, that can kind of help like if you do it on the sides and on the top. If you do it on the sides, it'll help everything blend a little bit better, and if you do it on the top, that also helps everything blend better, but it also just takes a little bit of the bulk and thickness out of the hair. So the way we're gonna do that is take the wider side of the comb, set that against his head, and then the hair that's outside of the comb, um, we're just gonna um, take the scissors and just chop at that piece. So when you do the top, <laughs> you take the comb this way, and you can just cut everything sticking out. All right, and this is the finished product. <laughs> um, Joshua Turner, let's see the front. Oh, in the back, that's, this is what he looks like now, all groomed up. <laughs> um, Joshua, show us what you use in your hair. No idea what it is, because my wife okay. supplies it, but. This is the KMS, <laughs> um, this is their hair play stuff. This is called Gel Wax. Joshua really, really likes this stuff. Why do you like it so much, honey? Uh, it's a strong grip. It doesn't give the white flakes that a lot of the generic gels do. And it's, it's flexible, so I could run my hand through it and it stays. I can move it. It'll go wherever I want, even like hours later after it's, it's dried. It keeps a nice, not too wet look, but I like the, the wet look and it, it gives me that throughout the day. So, and that's look at great. this, I'm playing with it now, and it's Yeah, that's great, honey. Staying. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. If you like this video, hit like. And subscribe. I've always wanted to do that. Down below, <laughs> hit like. Over here. Or over here. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. I'm sneeze. Hip. Bless you. Hip. <laughs> Things have armholes? Yeah. Well, they can't even see the top of my head. <laughs> Sit up nice and straight. I'm a lot taller than you. I need to come in a little bit. <laughs>